steps. The winter storm in Arctic air that affected much of the country last week brought a familiar problem back to the people of Jackson, Mississippi. Frigid temperatures, froze pipes, and broke water mains. And that's after months of boil water warnings and service disruptions since storms this summer. Joining me now to talk about the ongoing crisis is State Representative Ronnie Crudup. Representative Crudup, thank you so much for your time. Uh, good morning. Thank you for having me. I mean, I, I just feel the frustration on behalf of, of the people there. And we, I, I know we spoke to the mayor on, on prime weekends uh, as this was happening during the summer. It just feels like the hits keep on coming here. And, and the winter storm bre bringing those freezing temperatures. We were looking at 11 degrees there. The substantial leaks in the city's water supply as a result. Can you share the current status of the repairs now? Uh, well, I'm not really sure of the current status of the repairs, but I can tell you firsthand, it's been a very difficult struggle uh, this time, uh, especially during the holidays. You know, people are sort of in a celebratory mood uh, for Christmas and trying to get ready for the new year. And then Christmas Eve, our water just, uh, you know, went away. And so, um, you know, we're dealing with this the best we can. Um, you know, we're hanging on in there. We had some reserve water in place, uh, but the difficult part is, is even getting water in right now because of uh, the holiday season because a lot of the companies that we get water from, uh, you know, they've kind of shut down for the holidays also. And so it's been a, a difficult task this time of morale. Oh, absolutely. And we know the city issued that boil water advisory on Christmas for those who did have water pressure. Is that yeah. still in effect? And, and for how long do you anticipate? Yes, the boil water uh, is still going to be in effect uh, for those that do have water. Uh, I had I had a very small trickle that came that came out the faucet this morning. Hopefully that we'll have something by tomorrow or Friday. Um, but we don't know how long the boil water usually takes. Usually once pressure is uh, all the way returned, usually it's a couple of days, 48 hours, I think, before the boil water notice is lifted. And so uh, I know the crews out there working extremely hard. People out there really uh, trying to make sure they're taking care of their neighbors. Uh, during this time. But like I said, it's been a difficult situation. Yeah, we know the EPA and Biden administration both working with state and local leaders to try to improve the city's water supply. How do you feel the process is going so far? Well, uh, there's been a change in the system. You know, the city is no longer, I guess, responsible for our water system. It's actually now responsible by the EPA, and there's a third-party manager in place, and that, that process just happened uh, about a month ago. And so uh, now uh, they kind of get to see firsthand what we've been dealing with as a city uh, of taking over this system. And uh, we know that things are going to get better. We, we appreciate uh, the Biden administration, uh, and, you know, the uh, Congress for for sending us the, the package uh, for it to fix the system, but it's going to take a while. We know it's not going to be a quick fix, but we're just hoping that we can get through the winter time and the rest of this year without any more disturbances like this. I mean, does the community have what it needs to fix this? Um, right now, the city does not have what it needs. And so we needed uh, this resources from the federal government to fix these things, and we're going to need probably more. So uh, we're doing the best that we can with the resources that we do have, but we realize it's going to take a lot more resource to fix this thing in the long term. How did this shortage affect uh, your holiday celebrations personally? I mean, it's been a, a real struggle. I mean, it's been a mental struggle for me and my family. Uh, not only, you know, we, we we felt this coming. We knew the ice storm was going to bring sort of a disturbance, but we didn't know it was going to shut us all the way down again. And so not on top of that, but, you know, me and being a legislator, I'm responsible for taking care of my community and my constituents. So, uh, and like I said, I've been on the phone trying to make phone calls to a lot of our distributors that we normally get water from. But, you know, that's been difficult during this holiday season because everybody kind of shut down already. And so, um, you know, I've had to talk to a lot of friends, one of my friends, a counselor, just to kind of get the mental aspect done because it's been a very difficult task. Uh, even my in my own house, my own sewage has kind of stopped up. And so, I had to go and kind of kind of move in with friends right now until we get this thing handled. So, <laughs> thank goodness for uh, friends with good couches and and open hearts. But, but what a yeah. situation that you and so many in the community have been going through. Um, I want to just ask about the dollars and cents of this quickly because you know that federal bill included the six hundred million dollars for Jackson Water. That sounds like a lot of money, but I believe the mayor said that a billion dollars was actually necessary. So, where will that gap be filled? Where does it need to come from? Who needs to step up? Well, I think the billion dollars is comes in line with, you know, uh, fixing old pipes and sewer lines and all of that. Uh, but I think to fix the system itself is probably going to come up about 600 million or probably a little bit more than that. Uh, so I don't think there's going to be a big gap uh, because, you know, I think the mayor is kind of talking about the entire system itself. 
Uh, and the sewage is not really included in this package deal for this. I think it's just the water. So, um, you know, it, it, the, the the things that we're getting right now, we feel hopeful. Uh, I'm very optimistic that things are going to get fixed and get better, that hopefully by next year, next Christmas season, we won't be dealing with these same struggles. Yeah, uh, please, absolutely. State Representative Ronnie Crudup, I appreciate your time. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.